Well, guys, hey, everybody. I am hoping I got something really awesome to show y'all today. Uh, I, the reason I don't know the answer to this for sure yet is because I've never used this. But I'll give you a great big spoiler alert. <clears throat> this just came in. This is a Mongo Root Ripper. This goes, this is, uh, it has the quick attach that is up here. And anyway, I am in the process. Uh, if you guys have seen any of my videos, you know I've been working over at my youngest boy's house. The excavator's still over there. So I'm headed there now. I'm going to get this put on the excavator. I've got some stumps that are waiting and calling my name. So uh, again, I have no idea how this is going to turn out. We'll all learn together. So come on, guys. Let's go get busy. Well, that hooked on way easier than I thought it would. So what you do is when you take the plate out, obviously you saw where I backed away from the pin. <clears throat> I just got it down on it, came in, curled it back over, and now everything is ready for me to lock it in. I always use my gloves because you grease this thing and it just has grease oozing out of it. But this is the plate that locks in. You do these first, so they can come in like so. And these keep it from falling out while you are getting the bolt locked in, like so. And then like this, and then you just run this up nice and tight. Usually after I use it for a little bit, I, uh, I'll come back and double check. And usually I'll have to tighten it up a little bit more. Guys, we're ready to go do some ripping. All right, guys, the first thing I'm gonna do, since I've never used one of these, is if you can see this tree here, it's broken up at the top. And so I'm gonna give this one a shot first to go after the roots. So the first thing I will do is I'm going to go try to peel the, the roots back on the left side. And from everything I've seen, you just go down in here and you just kind of pull. And we're just, what we're doing is we're going after the roots. And I'm not really feeling anything there, so I'm going to get a little bit closer. through here. All right, that feels pretty good. Let me come over now and let's go up to the other side. And we'll go down and dig and pull and let's see here. All right, I found some roots through there. I felt it pulling. Yep. And it feels like it's cutting them really good. All right, I'm going down deeper. Let me see what the tree is 
like. Let's see here. Alright, so I think now, and I was expecting this, now you come back, let me pull my blade up, and I'm going to swing over to this side. Oh, let me get my ripper up out of the ground. Basically what you want to do is you want to hook, you want to get all the roots up on three sides of it. So I'm going to get repositioned here. Alright, and make sure you guys can see good. Alright, and now we're going to go in and we're going to grab, and we're going to go down and see if we can pull, get to push it over now and look at there wow that makes it so much better man I love this thing so I'm gonna go in here now and see if I can get underneath it a little bit better and pull this thing up yeah, and see if I can hook it over here pushing it over. I'm gonna have to learn how to where to grab and how to push this. I know I gotta curl it in. Oh, let's see here. There we go. Alrighty. Well my gosh that was awesome. Alright let me see here now. I'm going to swing up and get to the side of it so I can hook it. Alrighty. So now what I want to do is come in underneath it and then use my thumb and lift it on up out of the lift it on up out of the ground if I can. There we go. I will have to get used to working this figure a different way with my thumb usage but guys you saw that was absolutely awesome so now I know one thing I'm seeing real quick is let me show you guys if I come in with this dude I can run that I can run that ram right into the arm and uh, uh, I'll, you know I can do some damage I got to be real careful about not running this into the unit because I I've got more I've got more movement this way to come up so I'm definitely gonna have to be careful on that all right, let's go grab another one. Well guys, as you saw, this thing performs unbelievably. I want to give you a real close look at it and just see how heavy duty this thing is built. I mean, there is no way my 35G is going to bend this metal. It is unreal and I cannot get over how this thing will dig and just punch in the ground and pull and rip up their uh, roots like it did. But you guys, you saw it. <laughs> it blew me away. Very pleased. I want to thank everybody at uh, Mongo Attachments. Um, for getting me hooked up with this. Uh, they were fantastic to work with. I will include their website and everything down in the description section on this video. And guys, remember, Mongo Attachments. Wow, awesome job. Hey guys, remember here at Project Next One, there's always one more. We will obviously be back over here now that we finally got some rain and hopefully they're gonna be releasing the burn van so we can get back uh, with burning our wood 
and finishing uh, thinning out this section here in the center. Obviously, as you just saw, this is gonna be a fantastic help. So guys, as you know, Project Next One, there's always one more. We'll catch you on the next one. Thanks for watching, guys. See you soon.